Hi guys, Teacher Gwen here, and today I am here to show you some of the items that I use when I am teaching online. So stay tuned. I am currently contracted with two online tutoring, English tutoring companies. Uh, one is GoGo Kid and the other one is iTutor Group. I'm here to show you some of the items that I use when I am teaching online. They have been helpful for me and I think they'll be helpful for you too. But before we get into the nitty gritty of things, please make sure that you subscribe, comment, share, and like this video. And if you would like to know, if you would like to be notified of new videos, click the bell symbol and you'll be notified. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. <laughs> um, you need a puppet or a stuffed animal when you're when you're teaching young students online. So Bun Bunny is my companion. All right, I do have two. I have a monitor and then I have my laptop. Okay. Um, and trust me, if you can um, invest in getting a monitor, I would definitely do so or having a second uh, monitor available, it definitely helps, okay? I always have my feedback sign with me so that I can flash it at the end of class, okay? And I have flashcards, I have shapes, and as you can see, I've put them into plastic bags, okay? And I've labeled every flashcard that I have, and it's in alphabetical order. Now, I have more, but this is just the ones that I'm going to be using tomorrow. Okay, I have my ball, because you know, a ball is always helpful. <laughs> um, I, toward the end of the class, I will use um, these flip cards, and basically, I will have the students to sound out the word or say the word and depending on their level I will ask them to use it in a sentence okay or we'll talk about the picture I have my clapper great job awesome I have my microphones hey no judgment no judgment yes they are paper okay it's all right, it's all right. So this one is normally, I use this one for my boys, okay? And then of course, the pink sparkly one is used with the girls, right? <laughs> my laptop has two USB ports, one there and one here. So I had to get this, which is a multi USB port connector. Okay, it works perfect. I can use four. I use one for my um, for my mouse, and this one is used for my headphones. Okay. Yes, speaking of headphones, I am using the Logitech headphones. They work perfectly. I have no problems with them whatsoever. They actually also have the mute button on there. Hold on. They have the mute button, the volume button right here okay and as you can see when I click it it either turns it up or it turns it down okay and then it, again it can be muted as well all right you know you always got to have your glasses I don't know about you but I need them <laughs> I need my glasses all right and this is just the um, HDMI port for the monitor um, you know, I did have to get a cord. Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha. There we go. Magnifying glass always comes in handy when you're teaching um, students online. I have my light just in case, you know, I need it to be a little bit brighter. My light is there. I did purchase this from Amazon. I'll leave the link below. It has three settings. I love it. Helps wake me up in the morning. Now, I also have a stand-up desk. I have my glass desk, but then there is the stand-up desk. And there is, I don't know if you 
can see the handle. There's that handle right there, guys. And it's so easy. Let me bring it back some. I'm gonna pull it, right? And it comes all the way up here. I'm 5'3", and it works perfect for me. My laptop is right at my eye level, okay? So it's perfect, perfect, perfect. And it's easy to put down, as you can see. There is an extension part that goes with it, but it stuck out too far, so I opted not to put it on, okay? Uh, my heart mouse pad, okay? That's my glass so and then this is the other little heart that came with it for uh, my water cup here I also use a tiara at times and then a little pen as my scepter for when I issue um, gemstones or stars they love this I use it as for my secondary rewards and I just have printed out some stars and put little magnets on the back so it sticks. I had some encouraging stickers, so I just put magnets on the back, okay? And so when they do well, I tell them, oh, nice job, and it sticks, no problem. Oh, you're being a super student today. Thank God. Voila. <laughs> And it works perfect. And as you can see, it serves as like storage for the rewards as well. Oops, I light up pen. I love that. And also for a secondary reward, I use fuzz balls in the jar. My poster board that I use, um, this is my classroom <laughs> that I use when I teach with GoGo -Go Kids. And it can also serve, um, you know, as a classroom for other companies that I'll, you know, eventually work with. I do have a couple of other ones on my list, you know, to be fillers um, or to be the main one. We'll see how it works out. However, on the other side of my board, and I will put a picture up, um, is the classroom that I use for iTutor Group. iTutor Group requires you to use their background. But um, it doesn't matter. They're, they're not very, you know, specific. They're not picky about it, um, but here it is. This is my classroom, and I just put it on a poster board, and I can flip it over quick and easy, but quick, and then I have my iTutor group board. Here is the iTutor group background that I have on the other side of the poster. Basically, I printed out like what is that? Maybe 16, 17. Um, of the backgrounds from their website and I taped it to the board and it works. It works perfectly. And you also have to wear a red polo shirt. That is a requirement when you're working with I to the group. These are some of the basic things that I use when I am teaching English online. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you are an online teacher and you use things that are helpful for you, please go ahead and let us know in the comment section. Let's all help each other out, right? Like I said earlier, I teach for iTutor Group and I also teach for GoGo -Go Kids. And if you are interested in teaching for either one of these companies or you would like more information, you can go ahead and email me. I will also leave my referral links in the description below. So, have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.